Making the transition to high value products takes quite a lot of courage from a producer's point of view. They have to maybe do a year or two where they convert their farming systems. Um, perhaps they end up without a crop one of those years because there's hail or something terrible happens or it's a drought or um, you know you have a bad year or two and you have to hold the faith it may take four or five years to be able to convert your farm from a high commodity process to one in which you're producing really high value products. Let me give you an example is that in New Zealand the only growth in the milk industry has been growth that's come from organic milk. So people are drinking less and less and less milk. But interestingly too, the people who are drinking milk are converting to organic milk at a much faster rate than ever before. Now it's not cheap to become an organic farm, right? But those farmers are capturing much greater value than the people who are doing high volume commodity milk. And the same is happening in the meat industry. Um, if you are going to eat meat, then looking for that um, high animal welfare, um, organic, free range meat, that meat has much more nutrition in it, it tastes better, and then when you serve it, you know that you're giving something that's had a great experience all the way through. It's very, very different than just serving a bit of supermarket mince, um, where you know no idea about the provenance. I don't have any connection to the farmer. It, it could be from half a dozen cows mixed together. I have no idea. But that transition is very, very difficult for farmers to make.